Yo, what is going on, you Carnivorous Cottony? Finally getting around to playing some games with the new uh, and improved Picaram. Um, now, I know I hyped up Speed of Energy a ton um, going into the release of Rebel Clash, and I still think the card is ridiculously good. Um, been slightly unimpressed with Picaram as a whole in the meta right now. Um, haven't, hasn't, just hasn't felt that great. Um, gonna play some games with it here today. This is my build currently. Yes, there's no Vulcaner in it. I don't like Vulcaner. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead. Let's get into some games. Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, we won the coin flip here in this first one, so we will be going first. Um, what do we got? Jirachi start is nice. Quick ball for a Picaram, speed and energy to it. All right, pretty good start. So double E power as well, so we could have a really explosive turn two here, potentially. Opponent opened in a Rangaroo. There's a Thunder Mountain. All right, I'm going to give up the... Yeah, I'm going to give up the Marnie here. Grab myself a Picaram. To Bolton, second pick around prize. Coco Prism's there though. Yeah, feeling okay about this one. Ooh, that's really good. All right, still a wish. Uh, not gonna take that research. Gonna leave that in the deck and pass over to our opponent. Yeah, we can hit real hard here if we want to on this uh, turn one here. Double E power, speed, energy, Thunder Mountain. Um, there's a Dragapult. So we're up against a Dragapult deck. So I actually don't want to give up these e-powers i want to save these to be able to one shot a dragapult so we're gonna look for like a quick ball here i, I don't we don't want to give up the e-powers we want to be able to one shot dragapult so marnie but we did just get rid of a marnie i could have got rid of the switch instead of the marnie but this guarantees i get to move my jirachi next turn so it felt bet way better to do it like that um i could just put all the energy on my picaram with a full blitz and then go into the e-powers on the following turn i think i am probably going to do that I mean, we'll see what the speed energy gives us as well that could just give us like a a quick ball or a Bolton or something. They just get full blitz to that. Rather full blitz to his air aura. And then build up into the Bolton a little bit later on, ideally. Because we don't need three energy on a Bolton. But uh, no matter what, it's uh, going to be able to do something probably pretty decent here. So they are playing the Malamar build. We can one-shot this. We're going to be counting this Jirachi, though, almost guaranteed here on our first turn. And then knock out a Dragapult and knock out something else, most likely. We could also look to go, like, oh, full blitz into Tag Bolts a little bit. Uh... Probably not gonna happen. We could try and full blitz knock out this though if we do get a boss's orders off our Stellarus. That's something we could look to do for sure. Um, we could look to go attach Thunder Mountain, Stellarus, boss's orders, switch, knock out this Dragon Ball. That'd be pretty good. They probably would be able to find the follow up VMAX, but getting this knockout is pretty pretty good early on here. So that would be nice to get. We'll see what we actually draw here, but I would not mind that at all. There's another Jirachi. Oh, start with the speed energy. <clears throat> Speed, lightning, energy, stellar wish, quick ball. Um, gonna grab that. Seems pretty good. All right, grab the quick ball. Discard a lightning. Need to get those in the discard pile for the Coco Prism. Uh, I'm gonna grab the Zero Aura here. Like I said, I'd rather load up three energy there. Um, also getting that free retreat cost. The free retreat early on here into play is nice. Uh, Thunder Mountain, and then Full Blitz. Take this knockout. Three energy are going to go on to our Zerora here. Um, and then uh, go from there. <clears throat> Lightning out of there. That's good to get into our as well. Yeah, we're going to try and get this one shot here with the Bolton next turn. Coco Prism, plus energy for turn, plus double E power. Then we have five energy we can get six seven eight double e power uh that's gonna be enough <laughs> or we might need ooh, five six seven eight we need triple e power um but we have to settle for a full blitz i guess that would also be fine settling for a full blitz hit wouldn't be the worst thing ever uh gonna look for that knockout with bolton though do need triple e power but more than uh <clears throat> yeah more than doable for sure on this next turn uh, we have a lot of we can see a lot of cards here potentially, but still our wishes and two, get three switch up. There's a Marnie. All right, so disruption of the hand. Probably gonna have to cancel that as my line of play. Well, I don't know. There's an E power. This will get us the Dedenne. We could go for a boss's order knockout on the bench Dragapult though. I almost like this a little bit better. We can get knockout. Oh, especially with that uh, giant bomb there. But we could just hit it for 150 with the Picaram as well. But getting this knockout into a one shot on a Dra Dragapult Max sounds way better. <clears throat> so I think I will go for that line of play there. We just need another E power to work with, and we'll be all good for it. Well, we need something to discard off our radar as well, actually, because currently we have to radar away the boss's order plus our top deck, which means we don't boss's order for the turn. Be fine to start it off that way, I guess. But all right, there's a Giratina once again, throwing a wrench into our plans, 
and scoop of net getting rid of another energy oh no two speed energy gone all right i gotta come up with something different here because this is just not gonna work out at all the way i wanted it to do we have a basic energy in the discard pile yeah we're just gonna e-rate our way boss's orders plus our top deck get to dene get a new picaram because we might be able to switch all this energy over to a fresh picaram and then full blitz oh we can knock out the dene now we're going for the dene everything is switching up as our opponents playing out their turns we're gonna try and knock out this dene this turn for sure that should be an easy knockout no problem uh, we don't even need the e power uh for sure yeah definitely knocking out this to Dene and then maybe looking for a, a one shot on the dragapult um but we'll have to wait and see this guy should be an easy knockout though no problem to knock out that they give us that verdian force to get access to and then we'll look for a one shot on a dragapult vmax or maybe we'll still have to settle for a two shot we're just gonna have to wait and see what we draw into here here comes the max phantom i think finally they are done with their turn or at least close any more things to do I've already taken away all my energy on my active. All right, a wisdom still. We have so many actions this turn from our opponent. The supporter, now the dead age changed. Same turn from them. All right, there we go. Boom, 132 R Pikaram. Probably loading up quite a bit of damage on the Jirachi, and the rest will be on the Zerora. Yeah, two to Jirachi. The classic two to Jirachi. Rest on something else. There's another Moss's Orders off the top deck. Um, so we're just going to commit to that. Yeah, we're going to commit to same. Boss's orders up to the Dene. E radar away, boss's orders and E power. Grab ourselves. Oh, we don't have that second peek around. That's right. So Bolton comes down and then Dede change. Draw some cards. There's that Coco Prism. Here's a Speed Lightning Energy. Here's a Big Charm. We have a whole bunch of things we can work with here. Um, where do I even want to go with all this? Um, we need to retreat our peek around. So that should take priority here. Attach that there draw two all right quick ball away a lightning energy i think yeah sounds good to me grab ourselves a hmm. what do we want here to dene sounds okay bolton sounds okay we have another quick ball to work with on the next turn let's grab to dene um this guy's got 100 160 hp left uh, we're not hitting him where would the big charm be best is kind of the question here um hmm, hmm, hmm. could just retreat. we're definitely retreating to their aura and i think taking the knockout with their aura um oh sheesh man i'm i'm a little stuck on this one i get yeah, retreating to their aura coco prism now dance of the ancients one to bolton one to this to Dene. i think i don't even think i want energy on this other pikaram anymore it, it can just get gusted up and then knocked out Seems too risky. 30 HP left here. And they could go Zigzagoon double net. So let's just throw the big charm here right now. And then I think that's it. Plasma Fists, knock out the Dedene. <clears throat> Get some more prize cards to work with. Could have theoret theoretically waited a turn. All right, we have another boss's orders. We can theoretically just go boss's orders, boss's orders here to close out. No, we can't. Um, we can boss's orders around their giant bombs though if they have any of those left um they could draw four prize cards this turn but even then i think we'd still be in a fine spot i don't think they'd be, they'd be able to pick up that last uh couple prize cards very very quickly very easily um yeah if they put a giant bomb in the active we'll bring up the bench one and hit that one instead and then boss orders again and knock it out would be our game plan i think also have marnie yeah we'll we'll see i'm not yeah i'm not sure quite sure how this one's gonna break they got, they got a lot of damage to put in play a lot of damage to work with here comes a mewtwo to get themselves a supporter probably a marnie if i had to guess they do play malo and lana so we definitely have to hit them pretty hard to make sure we don't have to deal with that malo and lana later they are getting the malo and lana back yes yeah, so we had to make sure we hit them pretty hard here but bolton does hit pretty hard um currently hitting more than hard enough i think there's the marnie what do we get we got stamp Got E switch, got E power, got Jirachi. Not a whole ton to work with, um, but more than enough to get off and attack this turn. That'll be no problem. We're definitely attacking this turn. Ideally with the Bolton, just gonna punch a Dragapult. Comes that Max Phantom. This guy has how much HP left? 60. Uh, a little bit more, but I'm sure they played Zigzagoon or Giratina. So they can knock this guy out next turn, which will take a ton of energy, ton of our energy out of play. So we wanna E switch an energy off this there or this turn for sure. There's an energy top deck. Jirachi, I don't want to put in play. Well, no, I don't really want to put Jirachi in play. We'll just hold him for now. Um, reset stamp, we could get rid of that Malo and Lana in their hand, which sounds decent to me. Um, want to use the E-switch. So we're going to go 
Uh, retreat to Bolton. We're hitting with Bolton this turn. We're going to E-switch up from this air aura to the Bolton. I'm going to attach to the Dedenne to get another energy in play. Um, I am not going to reset stamp our opponent. Uh, no, let's reset. Uh, I'm torn here. If they, they can actually knock out... They can't knock out this guy. This guy's a little bit too tanky. Let's, let's take away a card. Let's take away a card from our opponent. Seems better than not. And we're going to go ahead and Bolt Storm... 100 damage short, and there's pretty much no way we're coming up with 100 damage, I think, on our turn. Uh, yeah, those two speed energy that they took away from us early on in the game is making a big difference right now. Because um, if I had those uh, in play here on the speed ramp, I definitely think I would have dug for this knockout here. We'd be plus 60 here. We just need two E powers to win the game. We have three left total. Um, but yeah, they took those away, and now we're now we're nowhere near being able to pull it off. There's that Malo and Lana. We're going to go to this bench Dragapult. Um, Stamp didn't quite cut them off. They don't have the... Uh, boss's orders though so that's what i was more afraid of here um we can get a knockout on this guy next turn we just need to find ourselves a boss's orders um we have one left we have a eldegoss left um so we need to get that we can go ahead stellar wish we need to find a way to move the jirachi once again after we stellar wish as well here comes the wisdom hopefully we just top deck a boss's orders that would make everything really simple we do play three of them or a quick ball quick ball to find the eldegoss to find the boss's orders or the eldegoss uh, the list goes on and on. I probably could have actually Verdian Forest away the energy I had in my hand to get a new energy. Um, that probably would have been a little bit better. Definitely could have done that, I think. Um, how many switch do they have left? They have two switch left. We could, if we have to, I th and I think we might have to, is we might have to tingly return this Dragapult VMAX to kind of trap it in the active. Oh no, that's... Oh, the Mewtwo's coming back down. I was like, okay, I'm fine if Mewtwo comes back down. Malo and Lana back to the top. So that's their plan for the next turn, it looks like. It's the Mal and Lana once again. Here comes the Max Phantom. Now we know they have the Mal and Lana. Tingly Return won't do anything. Uh, we could still do it, but it's probably not worth it. And we're definitely in a little bit of trouble here. They're getting a lot of damage in play on our dudes. They can take a lot of them out. Uh, that's not good for us. Probably going to get an energy, put it on our Picaram if we don't find a way to do anything. I'm going to retreat to the Jirachi. We're going to retreat to Jirachi. Going to use that Stellar Wish. Um, I mean, sheesh, man. They could go retreat and fully heal this guy, though. We have to be aggressive this turn. Otherwise, they just we either have to hit them or uh, win the game this turn. Let's see what our top deck is and go from there. It is a switch, so being able to use the Stellar Wish is no problem here. Stellar Wish. Stamp E-Power Switch. Research. Um, we got five prize cards left. Gonna have to take this. Well, I mean, we could go E-Power. I mean, triple E-Power? Well, we have to research. We have to research no matter what. We've already retreated. Switch into the Bolton. They KO Bolton. They don't quite KO this guy, so they wouldn't win the game. We could theoretically win this turn with our last three E-Powers as well. Attack with Tingly Return. Doesn't work because they have Malin Lama top deck. Attack with the Zerora would be fine as well. So I think we just go for this research play because we could win this turn theoretically. Get the research. They have five prize cards left. And it's not, it doesn't look good no matter how I go about it. <clears throat> E-Power. Research. We can draw a lot of cards here. There's another E-Power. Hold up. Let's quick ball away. And energy. Last E-Powers in the deck. And unless I miscounted this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, six, seven. Uh, we get to eight because we haven't attached yet. Um, so it's 50 e power e power e power yeah triple e power would win us again there's a speed lightning left um so we want to leave uh it open for us to be able to utilize that let's just go ahead and thin something out of the deck that we don't think we're going to use i don't think i'm going to use oh uh, man mar shadow let's get rid of mar shadow i don't think i'm going to use mar shadow um attach this here second e power and then dead a change you can get the speed lightning which would give us more chance to dig there's the speed lightning Gonna throw it on uh, this peak around here. One, two, not quite so close. All right, Bolt Storm, one, 10 damage, 10 damage. We are 10 damage short from winning the game. All right, so let's see if our opponent, we know our opponent has the Malon Lana, but can they just win the game this turn is really the question. They're definitely very close. They're two damage away on this guy. There's the boss's orders. All right, they do have the game. We are 10 damage short. Um, that fourth power powers in those last nine cards, not quite able to pull it off. We're gonna take this loss here in our uh, in our first game all right we are into another one here we got a unfortunate starter in the elder Goss, but the rest of the hand's pretty good we got a speed energy to work with we can get peak rom to dene get a lightning into the discard pile so the rest of the hand pretty good uh opening elder Goss, never good um power plant turn one awful 
Oh, sheesh, man. All right, so we're gonna go. Watch your magnetic radar. Get rid of the lightning. Get rid of boss's orders. And grab ourselves Pikaram to Dene. We'll attach the speed energy. If we get a stadium, we will Dede change. If not, it looks like we're gonna have to go with that Marnie. Speed energy. Oh, got a research now. I'm gonna go E Power Research instead because they just went Power Plant Pass. Um. All right, we can keep going here. Throw down the Jirachi. Ooh, don't want to Dede change it. I almost did it. I almost put down the Dedenic. All right. Electromagnetic radar or not. Nope. We have to see if the March Shadow is even in the deck. So I'm just going to get rid of the E radar to check for him. There he is. Our hero here. A little March Shadow. Get rid of that. Let's see if we can't pull off a turn one full blitz. We're quite a ways away. We need Coco Prism. We need Energy Switch. We need Switch. Got switch, I got Coco Prism. Not quite enough though. We're still a little bit short. Um, let's go ahead and quick ball. Getting rid of this Jirachi here. Grab that Coco Prism. I'm gonna bench the Zerora. Use the Coco Prism here. Pikaram and the Zerora. And I, I kind of want to not switch into Jirachi because then that might mean I need one more card to get on the following turn. Um, but it give me anything it can't give me anything to win to get there this turn right no I don't think so we have plenty of switch left we have plenty of switch left let's go ahead let's uh dig an extra seller wish um there's a quick ball to work with that's not bad and pass over to our opponents see what they got no idea what they're playing they went power plant with a Dedenne in play so you I got no idea I got no clue what this could possibly be here take a look at we got one one unfortunate lightning hanging out in the discard pile we don't want him there but uh I don't have really choice. He's gonna get stuck there. Yeah, they went. They have opened a Dene. They put a power plant in play. I have no idea what they're playing. Here comes a research. Let's have a look. There's a lightning energy. There's a Guzman Hala. So it is Pikaram. <laughs> we are up against the good old tag call Pikaram build. Um, and we do not have a ridiculously good setup here. Got a lot of support Pokemon in play here in the uh, Jirachi to Dene Eldegoss. I maybe could it maybe I maybe shouldn't have put the Zerora in play. Could have just put the energy on the Dene from the Coco Prism. That might have been a little bit a um, little bit better. I maybe got a little bit ahead of myself with that one to be honest. Um, if we want to get a Boltoned in play, get some energy on a Boltoned. That is our goal here on this turn. There's a Coco Prism. Did they pull off the uh, turn two full blitz? I guess not going to be a turn one full blitz. I got the attached. I got the Coco Prism here coming down. What else do they got? That would be pretty scary if they did manage to pull it off. No, not quite. All right, good. I was about to be terrified. There's a Thunder Mountain. That's good. Um, That's very good. Let's Stellar Wish first here. See what we get. Escape board. Boss's orders. Don't mind just going ahead and taking this. And then I'm going to put this Speed Lightning here because I don't want to give my opponent Thunder Mountain to work with if I don't have to. Another speed lightning energy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and quick ball away the basic lightning. Gonna get that that uh, boltoned. Oh, we don't get the knockout here on this uh, Dedene yet, actually. Oh no, we're just not gonna knock it out at all. That's so unfortunate, actually. I thought we had the knockout there. All right, not quite. Full blitz time. 150. One, two, three energy on two. Almost want to put him on to Dene. It seems a little risky. Don't want him on the Boltoned, really. I don't know if I have a choice. Let's throw him on Boltoned. Yeah, we're going to use Boltoned to one-shot our opponent's uh, Pikaram next turn. We are super far ahead of our opponent right here in just kind of damage and just damage. Like, we're doing so much damage next turn. It's insane. Um, here comes a Tingly Return, though. <laughs> All right, the Tingly Return. Uh, thankfully, we have a switch. Otherwise, we'd be uh, screwed. Switch to our Jirachi here. Uh, gonna go ahead and we could tingly return knock out this guy uh speed energy here i think i'm just gonna be a little bit more aggressive than that um sell which we get a boss's orders not quite gonna get this e-switch though and remove one of these energies from our boltend e-switch from here to the dedene could have put it over here on the peak or i'm gonna tag ball the tag ball's not too ridiculously good here though uh e-power and research we do play great catcher great catcher here would be insanely good there's the great catcher all right things are looking up for us here now and a great catcher away uh energy switch and a lightning energy but one two three four five six seven eight uh yeah gonna just gonna take out our opponent's peak here 
with the bolt end and the uh bolt storm there we go three prize cards looking real good now we're looking to clean peek around out of the prize cards this is why we run to peek around because it seems like we're always prizing one of those guys another e-power got a whole bunch of damage for our opponent on the next turn as well we're knocking out this Raichu, Lola, and Raichu, if they do not uh, knock out our Bolton. Um, can maybe even get the, a new Bolton set up and play the, the uh, what's it called? Thunderbound's in play still. So if we just get another Bolton, put that in play. E-Switch, we have an E-Switch left. Uh, we could actually just tag Bolt, knock out this Alolan Raichu as well. Now they have two things that we can knock out. So even if they get a big, they would need both big charms. If They they probably play two, most people play the two big charms. There's an escape board, but they would need both big charms to protect both of these from uh, our tag Bolt on our Pikaram. So looking super good, looking super good, feeling super good. I can't even come up with something that they could possibly have to stop us at this point. They would need a miracle. They need a reset stamp and uh, to knock out our bolt end. Um, I guess I could paralyze him. That doesn't even feel that good. They could paralyze him for a turn, but that does not feel good at all. 780. I'm having an insane amount of energy in play. Looks like they're setting up just in case they have to. They're planning to attack with the Zapdos. That's not going to cut it, though. We know that's not going to cut it. Here comes the Stellar Wish. They're going to need that reset stamp. There's an E-switch. Not bad. They can attack with the Raichu or the Picaram, whatever them they want to. But the fact that they put Zapdos down makes you think they're going to attack with Zapdos. Almost certainly, right? Otherwise, why would they put down the um, put down the Zapdos? There's an E-power. Do they have, have they used two of those yet? I don't know. I've not been following along fully. I don't think so. They've used none, right? None? All right. Yeah, so they can full blitz knock them out probably. I'm guessing they got two E-power here. Yeah, here come the E-powers. Full Blitz knockout or Boltoned, uh, but we do have the Tag Bolt ready to go. We'll knock out back-to-back -back Picaroms here to close this one out. Um, and that's going to do it for these games with the updated Picarom build. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, it's, it's definitely better. Speed energy is insanely good. The option of Bolton to be able to hit for pretty much unlimited damage, as long as our energy doesn't get taken out of play like it did in the first game, unfortunately, thanks to that Dragapult. It's just kind of ridiculous. The amount of damage you can hit for with Bolton is, is huge after like a full Blitz. Um, and yeah, there we go. Knock them out. Hope you guys enjoyed the games. If you did, give the video a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.